My grandfather's clock was too large for the shelf, so it stood ninety years on the floor. It was taller by half than the old man himself, though it weighed not a penny more. It was bought on the morn of the day that he was born, and was always his treasure and pride. But it stopped short, never to go again when the old man. Seconds numbering, but it stopped short, never to go again when the old man died. In watching its pendulum swing to and fro, many hours had he spent while a boy, and in childhood and manhood the clock. Short, never to go again when the old man died. Ninety years without slumbering, his life seconds numbering. But it stopped short, never to go again when the old man died. Father said that of those he could hire, not a servant more faithful was found. For it wasted no time, men had but one desire at the close of each week to be wound. And it kept in its place not a frown upon its face, and its hands never hung by its but it stopped short, never to go again when the old man died. Ninety years without slumbering, his life seconds numbering. But it stopped short, never to go again when the old As we silently stood by his side, but it stopped short, never to go again when the old man died. Ninety years without slumbering, his life seconds numbering, but it stopped.